Mike, do you want to slate that for me? Yeah, it's uh, Mike Melindy with Rolling Out. Three times. So first of all, I mean, this, this story is, you know, it's, it's a really lovable film. So when you talk about just what about it first drew you to the character and to wanting to be a part of it, it's been, it's, the, the story is, you know, such a deep and long history. First of all, lovable, saw what you did there. Uh, it, it is just that, it's a wonderful story. And to be a character, I guess, in real life, kind of, that's larger than life, but still has this softer side. It was a really cool correlation to be able to be an animated character of the same sure. thing. So I was, a, I was all for it. Absolutely. You know, you talk about this, you know, larger than life character, still showing a soft side. You know, what's a time in your life when you feel like that you being able to show a little emotion paid off in the long run for you? Honestly, I think it's just been a process of maturity. I think when, when you think that like you have to be tough or you try to define like who you are as a man or wh whatever, eh, you, you get to the point where you realize being a man is just being who you are. And that means being able to show emotion, being able to show weakness at times, uh, being able to understand failure, um, being able to handle success a certain way. Like there's a, there's a lot of things. So I just, I honestly think it's, it's not necessarily a certain moment. I've just been lucky enough to have all these experiences in life and not just go through them without learning. For sure. You, know, you talk about you know, the experiences in life, obviously you know, a lot of what you're talking about, your career. But when it comes to stopping the smell of the rose, it's something that Ferdinand likes to do. You know, what's something that you enjoy doing that has nothing to do with Hollywood, acting, wrestling, that, where you can just appreciate well, I, I can't say it doesn't have anything to do with that because it, it directly correlates to that. But Nicole is my rose, and, and when we spend time together, it's just us. So. Sure. That's, that's me. Absolutely. You know, earlier you mentioned talking about just staying true to yourself. And uh, a lot of times, you know, people define courage as standing when you're the only person that's, that's standing. Is there anything that you feel like um, you stand for and you may not be popular on the side of, you know, your opinion of you know, maybe in Hollywood or maybe just... Well, I, I, I certainly think if you uh, pay any attention to what I do in WWE from, from very early on, um, there was a giant... Uh, force saying that like hey this guy doesn't belong he doesn't look like everybody else he doesn't wrestle like everybody else he's not any good if you watch even today yeah. there's half of the fans that say let's go cena and the other half that out loud say cena sucks and it's an interesting dynamic and i guess when you deal with that night after night over longer than a decade you begin to say like well i'm, I'm never gonna please these people so i might as well just be me and that's kind of the place where i landed you know, I feel like the, the author or the original story of this, or writer of the story was a little bit ahead of his time. And he talked about just, you know, the idea of the, the feeling that this, that this bull had amongst this, you know, arena of bullfighters who obviously wanted to kill it. Um, today's world, you know, many people are against bullfighting and the treatment of animals, but how timely do you think this film is, given the stance of, you know, animals have feelings too? Well, I, I love to see culture evolve. And I also admire tradition. And I think a movie like this can send a, a wonderful message to uh, a bunch of people. I think every, everybody who sees this movie will take something different away from it. And if we can begin asking questions that maybe help evolve culture, then we've done more than just make a good movie, and that's a hell of a day at the office. Sure. Good stuff, man. I look forward to more cool. work.